Hi, Leo. Thank you for being here with me. This is pretty intuitive. I hope you guys are doing good. So let's get into your love reading, Leo. Let's take a look to see what is coming, uh, what you can expect in your love life. These readings are general, so please, as always said, keep an open mind. All right, Leo, someone rising in Venus. What is coming to Leo in love, spirits, angels? Okay, <laughs> so this one flew out. Leo, you have getting to know each other. Okay, you also have soulmates. Yes, this is your soulmate. So it appears, Leo, that you're getting to know a soulmate, which is always a pleasant thing to see. <laughs> I think my daughter put some barbecue sauce on this thing by accident. I'm sorry, guys. Lord. All right. <laughs> I have to wipe my table off. Who's coming to Leo in love? Leo. Who's coming to Leo in love? Leo. Mm. Leo, you have the five of cups reverse. You have the moon. It's coming to Leo in love. So you may be connecting with the water sign for some of you. Okay, you have the ace of cups. You know what I'm already starting to feel? I'm starting to feel like someone finds it difficult to open up their heart to love again, to the possibility of love, because they've been very much disappointed in the past. Someone has a lot of trust issues. Now, maybe you and this person know each other. You, you have a history with one another. That can explain, you know, why they feel that way. Especially if there was some trust issues between you two. Okay. But overall, yeah, the past is definitely a little significant in the situation because someone has a lot of trust issues. Knight of Pentacles. So it appears, uh, Leo, that you and this person... I feel like there's definitely a chance for love with you and this uh, person, Leo, but it's like you're going to take it slow. You're going to have to take it slow with one another. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, possibly, and maybe another Leo. Okay, but um, those are just the signs I'm naming. Doesn't have to be. Three of Swords right here and the Six of Cups reverse. So someone's still holding on to their past, I feel here, Leo, Okay. That's making it difficult for them to trust and open their heart in the presence. It's like, I feel like someone wants to see where things can go, but at the same time, they're not going to want to move fast. They want to kind of play things a little safe here. But it does feel like they're willing to try, you know, um, and kind of like take baby steps here. Because automatically it feels like someone is really, really guarded and, you know, just really suspicious. But I think this person definitely loves you or, you know, they feel very uh, deeply connected and drawn to you. That's for sure. You know, you can't deny something like that. But it does feel like someone is in their head quite a bit with the Eight of Swords. If this is someone that you're hoping to hear from, Leo, then Leo, it does look like communication will be there. However, um, it just feels like this person's going to kind of be taking it very slow with you. They don't want to just put everything on the line because they don't want to be hurt or they don't want things to go left. Okay. Is what I feel. Um, so the strength card is typically, in this situation, it feels like someone who is kind of like using some kind of discernment, I feel, um, so as to not like get hurt again or something like that. Like they're trying to be like, I'm hearing moderation. Like they're trying to be um, they don't want to go to any extremes here. They don't want to get their hopes up too high in the situation, Leo. But this person has a lot of fears, I feel. That's a little bit unresolved. Um, and it feels like someone need, needs to really confront the past here. And once someone confronts the past, I feel like that'll pave way to you and this person being much more like, you know, having more, much more of like an intimacy with one another. And Leo, it could even be you, okay? Remember, 
General readings could be interchangeable and vice versa. Okay, but regardless, like I said, it just feels like um, this person wants to take things pretty slow with you. But don't mistake them, you know, the way their approach is for them not having feelings or them not being interested. They actually very much are. But like I said, um, their heart being on the line is, is, is kind of something that scares them. You know, the tower would say, well, the tower reverse would say this person has, they're holding on, you know, someone's holding on to some, some kind of belief that's not really serving them. You know, a, a belief that's false. Okay. A belief that's rooted in like deep fears and stuff like that okay um so someone's kind of operating from a lot of fear here okay but bottom of the deck uh, bottom of the deck it does say make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take heart to heart conversations honestly discuss your feelings with one another though leo does feel like this person is going to open up to you if it is them that's acting like this but you're going to just have to be patient as they come around because it's like slowly but surely happening here, okay? This relationship is destined for lasting joy. So you and this person can definitely have lasting joy between one of another, okay? Um, it does feel like someone will be loyal, okay? Faithful, neither you or your partner would ever stray. But someone is definitely held by loss. You or your partner are holding on to the loss of a past relationship or, you know, just events from a prior, a prior relationship. But it does say patience, love appears when you least expect it. So just be patient with this person, Leo. Okay, is what I will say. Yeah, the magician. I feel like at times it can kind of give the impression that they're ready for love and they're ready for things and that's not to say they're not but it also feels like they still have a little bit more like reconciling to do with their past okay so i would say don't just take them for what they're telling you you know just understand that they do have a little bit more work to do ten of swords is in the reverse so if you notice this freak goes cold or something like that leo then that would be why they go cold from time to time. Okay. But at the same time, try to keep yourself balanced with this person. Because if they are showing up as a page of cups, you know, their emotions are still kind of like evolving, maturing, or, you know, their emotional investment is not totally, totally at its best right now. Okay. But it's, it's getting there, I feel. As long as you're patient, but I mean, you don't have to be, right? But it does feel like you and this person will have a conversation, you know, where things are going to be out into the open to where, you know, you'll get a better understanding with one another. Okay, you have music, musician, music. I'm getting that for some of you, maybe, you know, some freak, you know, they had a relationship with a real freak person, okay? Like that made their life very difficult toxic that's what they're used to okay some of them may have recently gotten out of breakups okay um then you have truth so like i said it does feel like clarity is going to come to the surface here regardless and you guys will talk about um these problems here because you know what snake it feels like this person's been kind of like putting up a bit of a front like you know what i'm saying like but maybe you can tell this person's operating from hurt or they're operating from a lot of fear. You know what I'm saying? You can just feel it. You know, you have a lot of water cards here. So I feel like someone's very intuitive in this connection. You can have a water moon or something, Leo, but. Okay. I feel like I'm hearing sometimes this person, the best way they can express themselves is through like music or creating things for you. They may send you a song or something to show you how they feel or something like that. Um, it's like, even if they're not ready to try to put it into words, they may put it into their craft, Leo. Okay. All right, Leo. So that is what I have for you guys. You know, I sincerely hope this reading gave you the clarity that you were looking for, my darlings. 
I apologize for the um, loud lawnmower outside. As soon as I start my readings, that's when they want to start, you know, with it. But <laughs> all right, Leo, thank you for being here with me. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Talk to you soon.